Hi guys, it's Mary Mary here. Don't mind my appearance. I'm all full of vim and vigor. I, I just got done gardening, so my nails are atrocious. I want to drop in really quick to talk about three things. A perfume review, book review, and then uh, what's going on hopefully this weekend. The makeup basket will come later when I'm all you know, dialed up to the standards that you've come to expect of me. So, the perfume review. This is hilarious. I knew my um, neighbor across the street who's dating Meatball Jr. was had to go to court, and she's not sure why. It has to do with a loan modification and just a single mom doing what she can to keep the house. And... I can get in the car and go halfway across the world within 24 hours, no problem. But I do realize that some people don't like driving in the city or in this case, you know, even in, into Rockford and, and whatever. And I knew she was, you know, it was her court date Tuesday and she's expecting help which don't ha expect the help. So I knew that maybe perhaps I would be called upon to do a little more help than usual. I thought maybe um, I would end up, you know, making sure that the one child got off the bus safe and all that stuff. He, he likes coming over here occasionally and, um, you know, watering the lawn or, I don't know, doing whatever fascinates him about this house but I knew that maybe something else would be required of me and it was <laughs> so like an hour before she had to be in her car to get to court she asks me well first she texts me and she knows I, I don't look at my phone ever answering me none of that stuff so an hour before she needed to be 50 miles away she tells me do you mind of course not but I also wanted to to see what's what what's going on with this because uh, one of my dear friends is in real estate and familiar with these transactions and there's just something not right so I had to get ready in a short period of time and I wanted to look polished so that no one was pulling nothing on you know this single mom who's doing her best she can so I wore molecule one perfume because even if I looked polished and the visual cues were there with, you know, like the scarf on the purse and the this and the shoes, I want them to get a good whiff of this is someone you don't mess with. So I wore Molecule One, which is this perfume that has a cult following. I probably have this story all wrong, but it is... like maybe synthetic or the base of all perfumes, like the super thin, super th synthetic, whatever. And it allegedly draws people to you. What it smells like to me, at first I didn't like Molecule One the first day I wore it. To court yesterday, I adored it. It smells to me like chocolate and cotton candy on me. It smells different perhaps on everyone else. And my girlfriend loved it, too. The Molecule One dry down, after a while, though, it just smells to me like maybe parchment paper and warm sugar on me. So that is my review of Molecule One. Hope you enjoyed. You can click off now <laughs> if you're a perfume lover. Okay. My book, my stellar book reviews. I am reading Muriel Sparks, who is, I'm not kidding, I'm not being disrespectful. She might be 100 if she's a day now. Her books, written maybe even in the 60s and beyond, are so relevant today. I have a hard time reading them, though, because she writes the devious minds so perfectly that you read this and wonder how can people really think like this. And that's why I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish the prime of Miss Jean Brody because she's a school teacher who is 
influencing the minds of young children. And it's just, um, I don't know, just read it. It's not what, it's just um, inappropriate to influence a child to advance your career. So that's all I'll say about the Prime Minister um, Brody. Now this one is real interesting. The Finishing School by Muriel Sparks. And it's a short book, so I figured you can just slog through this. And it's about a school, a finishing school, that travels from, you know, maybe France one year, Switzerland the next, and whatever. And the main theme is something I do not have a lot of experience with. It's jealousy. So that is the theme of this book. And I can compare it to The Shining, if The Shining was set in a finishing school. So that is my review of Muriel Sparks' The Finishing School, a very good book. And some books you read and you remember a line from it. Um, to give you an example, he symbolized everything they abhorred. To paraphrase, that's a line out of The Great Gatsby that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Or from Steel Magnolias, Laughter Through Tears. Another favorite saying is from Tina Fey on her autobiography, and it is it was something like, oh, you don't get to talk to me like that. You don't get to say that to me. I'm no child of a, you know, I remember that sentence. In the finishing school, in one of the first chapters, I'll read this, and there's extreme profanity. <clears throat> this is the, I don't know, first chapter of the book, but it's the last sentence. And the, the, uh, the teacher who actually runs the school is teaching a creative writing class, and his sentence is, so, he said, you must write when you set your scene. The other side of the lake was hidden in mist. Or if you want to exercise imagination, on a day like today, you can write, the other side of the lake was just visible. But as you are setting the scene, don't make any emphasis as yet. It's too soon. For instance, for you to write, the other side of the lake was hidden in the fucking mist. <laughs> that will come later. You are setting your scene. You don't want to make a point as yet. This is crazy. What teacher says that to, to students? And this was written in, okay, that makes sense, in 2004. But by 2004, Muriel Sparks had to be in her 80s. So that just blew me away. And now I'm reading The Ballad of Peckham Rye. And it's just, you know, it's about the weird, dark places the mind goes. And... I'm almost done with this one. So I hope you enjoyed my book reports. And then for the last minute and a half, I want to say that uh, hopefully this week I'm going to meet up with Kelly. And I'm really excited. My mom's like, drop the dogs off, go. My dear friends are like, go, have fun. So I'm looking at the map now and I'm figuring out if anyone knows if there's anything great in the Bloomington normal area that might be the meetup point. Or who knows, or, or Kelly, if if there's something fabulous going on this weekend in, I don't know, say, the St. Louis area, or just whatever, I'm excited to, to hook up. Let me know if there's anything that you wanted to see. I don't know if you, maybe you've never seen makeup from somewhere. I don't know. If there's something you're, you're interested, let me know. I can bring along, you know, brushes or you know, whatever strange stuff I have. I'm looking forward to that. I am going to have 200 bucks on the road. So I'll put gas in, and that will probably set me back to 150 So I'll have $150 to play around with. My goal is I kind of have a hankering to put together in a frame different makeup, which, you know, is imprinted, like the physician's formula. Some of it has, like, a wave imprint, 
Some of it is, looks like the sun. Just, I want makeup that has some kind of texture to its appearance, not on my face, but on the production of the makeup, if that makes any sense. So, um, I am looking forward to seeing you. If that's possible, I know that um, you have some health things going on, and I totally understand if it's not a good time. Myself, I'm, you know, looking forward to this, and sometimes I get so excited that I don't sleep as well the night before, and then I'm like, ugh. So, um, I certainly understand if this is not a good weekend. Plus, you probably have to decompress over, you know, the school year ending. So, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But it sure would be a good time to just, I don't know, eat a couple enchiladas with you at a restaurant. Um, I don't um, eat out. I don't get the chance to eat out often. So that would that would even be a treat for me. Um, anything, you know. So it would just be good. It would be good to see you. All right. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you shortly.